today's interesting topic is myeloid muscle so here is the myeloid muscle just beneath your chin it is one of the muscle of the neck if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel logic medico kindly consider subscribing and press the bell button to get the latest notification of the videos this myeloid muscle what is it exactly it's a flat triangular muscle it is both of these triangular muscles on right and left side join together to form one partition which separates the oral cavity from exterior therefore the myeloid can also be called as oral diaphragm and diaphragm means partition so it's partitioning the oral cavity from the exterior so that is myeloid muscle so the location of the myeloid muscle just now i told you it is located here on the floor of the oral cavity not at the soft palate okay it's in the floor of the oral cavity it is a location of myelohyoid muscle this myelohyoid muscle is one of the suprahyoid muscles so suprahyoid muscles are the group of muscles which are above the hyoid bone supra means above they are digastric muscle which you can see in this picture digastric muscle stylohyoid myelohyoid genio hyoid and hyoglossus to the tongue hyoglossus all these muscles are above the hyoid bone so they can elevate the hyoid bone so when does this happen during deglutition that's a overall idea so myelohyoid is one of the suprahyoid group of muscle so what is the origin of this muscle to understand this i have made one small animation you have to draw like this and like this it becomes the outline of mandible of course i have not shown the tooths then you draw an oblique line like this it will become the myelohyoid line so why i should draw like that because that is the origin of this muscle myelohyoid muscle takes origin from myelohyoid line of the mandible or the lower jaw then what happens then there will be insertion these fibers run downwards and medially okay they run downwards and medially posterior most fibers are directly getting attached to hyoid bone whereas the middle fibers and the anterior fibers are meeting with similar fibers of the opposite side to form a raphe raphe is a connective tissue this green color what i have shown here it is called the myelohyoid raphe now it appears like a coconut tree leaf huh? if you have seen coconut tree leaf it will be like this only so that's called as myelohyoid raphe so obviously the name self myelohyoid insertion is hyoid only the posterior fibers are going to the hyoid where the middle and anterior fibers are meeting the similar fibers of the opposite side to form a raphe called as myelohyoid raphe that is also insertion of this myelohyoid muscle in addition to hyoid bone okay got this so that hyoid bone definitely you know coming to the action this myelohyoid muscle if it acts from below it will depress the mandible if it acts from above if it acts from its origin level towards the hyoid bone it can elevate the hyoid bone i repeat if the myeloid muscle acts from below it will pull the mandible down that is opening of the mouth or depression of the mandible if it acts from above it can elevate this hyoid bone above or lift the hyoid bone above that helps in that helps in deglutition okay so that is the action also it elevates the floor of the oral cavity in the first phase of swallowing so when you are swallowing there is a wave created in your tongue if you try that that wave is created in the tongue that wave who is giving a kick start for the wave is myelohyoid muscle that is the logic behind that so in addition to pull the mandible down on opening the mouth lifting the hyoid bone helping in the last phase of swallowing it also initiates swallowing by creating a wave in the tongue by pushing the floor of the oral cavity upwards you try that and feel just below your chin you can feel wave is created by this muscle okay isn't it interesting that is the action what are the nerve supply the nerve supply is extremely simple there is one nerve its name is nerve to myelohyoid it is a branch of mandibular division of trigeminal nerve or the fifth cranial nerve the name of the nerve is very simple nerve to myelohyoid that is a nerve supply 
in summary myelohyoid muscle origin the myelohyoid line of the mandible on the inner surface of the mandible fibers descend downwards and medially the posterior most fibers are attached to the hyoid bone directly the middle fibers and anterior fibers meet with similar fibers of opposite side to form myelohyoid raphe ultimately this myelohyoid muscle either can depress the mandible down by acting from below or when it acts from above it can lift this hyoid above that is elevation of hyoid also it it initiates swallowing by pushing the floor of the oral cavity upwards thereby facilitating the deglutition or swallowing the initial stage nerve supply is nerve to myelohyoid it's a branch of mandibular division of trigeminal nerve thank you for watching this video like and share this video with your family and friends don't forget to press the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get the latest notification of video thank you for learning from our channel logic medical